Hey guys, uh, today's review is going to be a little different. Um, I did go to the store, but all I got was Deadpool. That's pretty much all they had that was new there. Um, I will be reviewing two games that I have liked, but you'll know, see how that goes as well. Um, let's see here. First off in the, de in the comics, um, I'm going to say they're all Deadpool, like I said. Um, I like Deadpool, so deal with it. First off is Deadpool number 25. This is pretty a good one. It's, it's continuing the story where Wade is in Las Vegas and apparently Weasel is trying to turn off a new lead in his life by trying to be a hero and he's trying to have Deadpool more of a psych as a sidekick. It, of course, Wade doesn't like being a sidekick. He likes being the hero. So it's a nice one. Um, it's a pretty good one, you know, seeing how Wade's screwing over Weasel in a way. Um, but, uh, the cover's in 3D. I guess it's kind of like a joke, being it's taking its, it's taking a stab at the 3D, you know, being in the movies. Everything's 3D now. But, uh, I'll save that complaint for another time. Um, uh, let's see here. So, the other comic I picked up was the new first issue and one-shot deal of Lady Deadpool, and I like this. I really, I really did like this comic. I knew it was going to be a good one. Um, it's kind of funny, it's really, actually I shouldn't say it's not kind of funny, it is funny. Um, I really think they should make this more into a series. I mean, it'd be pretty nice to get a female perspective as a Deadpool, as Wade Wilson. But Wanda Wilson is just as funny as Wade, so, I like this. It was funny. The, the only thing I wasn't prepared for in this one was all the brutality that Wanda took. I mean, I'm used to seeing it with Deadpool. I mean, in some comics, he gets messed up to the point where he's getting his legs blown off, his arm chopped off. You know, his, in Suicide Kings, he's got his head blown off by a crossbow by the Punisher. But this one, I wasn't, I wasn't used to seeing a female Deadpool get beaten up a lot in this one. I mean, Wanda does take a lot of damage in this. And I just say... I mean, even the opening scene, I mean, she accidentally cut her finger off, but that's, like, the joke right there. But there was this one scene, I mean, there's a scene where some guy got pissed off, pissed off and threw a shoe, and Wanda jumped in to intercept the shoe, and she got hit in the face, and she accidentally lost some teeth in the process. I guess maybe I'm just not used to the brutality of a woman getting trashed around like that and then coming back for more, like I would see with Wade. But, um, I, like I said, it was a good comic, really nice pickup. Uh, let's see here, the other one, jeez, what was the other one? What was, I totally forgot. Uh, crap, I totally forgot, I can't believe this. I totally forgot which one it was. I can't believe it. I told, okay, you know, maybe it'll come back to me, I'll, I'll try to remember if it comes back. Oh, that, there it goes, Merc with the Mouth, Merc with the Mouth 13. Why did I forget that one? I love Merc with the Mouth. I can't believe I forgot that. Man, I'm such an idiot. Yes, he, I admit that. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, Murder the Mouth 13 is by far, mm, pretty much the whole series of Murder the Mouth is my favorite. I mean, like I said, I love zombies and I love Deadpool. Mix those two together, you've got a great combination. Um, the comic was funny. There is a part where the, the, the drawing style changes. I'm not sure why... I mean, the last issue's kind of broken up into chapters, but there's one chapter where it's, and I don't know why, and then it goes back to the other way, I just don't know why. It, it's kind of like all scribbled, almost, in a way, like, basically, it's just the way the design was with the coloring, and it was all kind of scribbled. It was really, it, it was nice, but, you know, it was, just wasn't the, the usual what I expect. I mean, I didn't know why they just did it for that one part, and then went back to the original went back to the original style of, the, of drawing in the comic that was done in all the other series of the book. Uh, but like I said, it's a great finishing up to the Deadpool Merc with the Mouth series. I enjoyed it. Uh, also, it kind of opened... Well, the thing is, is that since it kind of opens up prelude to Deadpool Core and Deadpool Core, which has already been out for a while, so pretty much you basically know that Wade walked out of there, out of the zombie universe in one piece. So, otherwise, he wouldn't be going around hopping from dimension to dimension, picking up other versions of himself. Um, but, yeah, then there's this little mini comic inside of it. It was pretty nice. I mean, mostly, it was kind of funny. I guess Wade was, gets blinded by some guys trying to rob a building, and 
He's trying to take him out, but they're still running around the building trying to shoot him, and his eyes haven't regenerated. It was pretty funny. But, you know, it, it was a good one. Um, let's see here. As for the games, I said I was going to review two games.